this cemetery goes back to the 1800s. It's, like I said, really in the middle of nowhere. And today may be a good day. We've had some rain in the area yesterday. It's still overcast. Although the sun's coming out briefly now, uh, in between some clouds. Temperatures in the mid 40s. So, hoping to catch something. I may not, but it's worth a shot. Like I said, these are going to be a couple of mini investigations. Not going to be more than probably 30 or 40 minutes in each spot. Alright, coming up on the first one now. Okay, so I'm here. As you can see, this is a really old and dilapidated cemetery. Looks like it hasn't been cared for in years. There are graves knocked over. Yeah, I'm gonna take a walk through. Kind of see what this is all about. I've never actually been here before, I've driven by before. This is my first time just stepping in. Yeah, there's a lot of sunken spots in the ground, which leads me to believe that there's some graves that have collapsed, sunken. But take you around. I have to be really careful because some of these graves as you can see are really tiny. I have to make sure I don't trip over them. On the other end, see there are some graves that have had flags put on them. And the flags look to be in decent shape so many of the graves like this one in front of me are knocked over and falling apart. That one over there is completely knocked Another over. The grave right there with a the flag on it. That most likely, the flag looks fairly new. So somebody has been here to visit, which is good because at least it shows that somebody still cares. But this is a very, very old cemetery. This person was buried here in 1893. at all. Again, you can see here, you can probably see that on camera, that is a large sunken in area. I can almost assure that's where coffins have collapsed. You find that a lot in these old cemeteries. It's going to take out a K2 meter. I'm going to set the K2 meter on top of this headstone. I'm actually going to go before we start the anything which is what we should be getting there's pretty much nothing on the k2 you know but let's keep walking around with that and looking around see if i get anything on the k2 at all if i get anything i'm gonna stop and do an evp session so we're gonna do a little quick evp session Hello, my name is Lance Phillip. I'm here today to see if there's anyone here with us who would like to communicate. Now, is there anyone here with me? I know I'm outdoors, but the, the smell in the air just changed radically. All of a sudden, I like a a foul smell came over the air. Is your family still around here? Hmm. Over in this direction I heard a noise. Sounded like something walking. Let's see it though. It's interesting. Hmm. 
Over in this direction, I heard a noise. It sounded like something walking. I don't see it though. Interesting. Okay, I've decided to move along. I took out the Mel meter. And as you can see, the temperature is 42 degrees. This is the Mel with the REM uh, built, the REM unit built inside. If somebody touches it, it'll go off like that and make a noise. So I'm gonna walk around and see if I can get anything. See if I can get anything to come near me. Um, as I walk around. It's funny, there's no EMF anywhere. I mean, we're at zero across the board. So, there's that big giant crater again. I'm gonna walk around that. As you can see outside, this is the ghost box. So I'm waiting. I'm not getting anything. I'm going to go around to the back, I think, a little bit more. See what I can get. Temperatures quite chilly out. This is winter in the northeast deal with. Remarkably enough, I can't see my own breath yet, so it's not that cold out. I know we're in for some colder weather coming up soon. Is there anyone here with me today? Is there anyone who would like to come around me and let me know that you're here? I mean, no disrespect, I'm here just to be friendly. I'd like to meet the people who are here. I'll place this unit down. I just have some garbage here. I'm going to take that out with me. I don't like to leave garbage around in the cemetery. I'm going to come back and grab that. It's the least I could do. So, I'm going to just come around to this larger stone over here towards the edge of the cemetery. Again, if you move around that little device that I have, I can hear you. I can hear you talking. Also too, I'm gonna to take some photographs. This is a device that we have that will let me see you. This is a full spectrum camera. I'm gonna take some pictures as I'm taking video. Same thing with the full spectrum photos. 
we'll see what we have. But that's all I have. Unfortunately, there's no name to, on that cemetery anywhere that I could find. So I don't even know what to, refer, what to call it. Uh, I'm just going to refer to the road that I'm on. That's all I can do. So, all right, it's been fun. And hopefully I have something and I can show it along with this video. Thanks for watching, folks.